John Soap McTavish is a Scottish gaming hero very close to my heart as a huge Call of Duty fanboy and as a Scot if you couldn't tell that already. An SAS super soldier renowned for his ability to save the day and survive dangerous situations like sailing off the edge of a waterfall in a speedboat. Just another day at the office for our soap. He's also just a total heartthrob, I mean look at him. Such a bad boy with that haircut and you can't forget his amazing Scottish accent. Wait, that's not right. According to Wikipedia, Soap supports the Glasgow Football Club. Way to keep on the fence, Infinity Ward, or was it Activision who got them told there's some serious money to be made from the Scottish COD fans, so we can't fuck this up? I think it would have been better if they just made Soap a fan of Hamilton, just occasionally blasting out of buildings, shouting Mon the Ackies. But I digress. Right. What the hell kind of name is Soap, eh? How a muppet like you pass selection. I think you'll find Soap is the name of an absolute fucking warrior. After Soap pishes all over the CQB, him and his squad are off on many fun days out saving the world. We do quickly learn just how much of a tank and nutcase Soap is. In one mission, you're in an AC-130 meant to be protecting Soap, but he doesn't give a fuck. He's got the fucking strobe lights on and is having a wee rave down there. <laughs> We're told not to fire on the strobe lights, but let's be honest, Soap could survive a direct hit. He'd fucking catch the shell and throw it straight back towards the plane if he wanted. After some more minor plot points like nuclear bombs going off, etc, etc, at the end of COD 4, Captain Price slides Soap a pistol to take out this one-armed bandit and his wee mates. You can tell it was an important moment in Soap's life as he can only use his slow motion powers sparingly. Kinda like how the Emperor in Star Wars becomes all grey and frail because he's too into the dark side if you get me. By the time Modern Mafia 2 rolls around, Soap is now such a badass character that we can't even play as him to begin with because putting that much power in the player's hand would just render the game unplayable. Like Soap would just shoot one bullet and then the credits roll because that's it, you've won the war. Anyway, Soap is still pretty much off his fucking nut as you can see, he begins to climb this wall of ice with certain death below him and as he's climbing he says, Aye, the ice is good. Follow me. The guy decides the ice is good while he's climbing it. It would also appear that Soap is getting a bit bored in his old age of not dying as he jumps this chasm hoping that his ice picks will stick. I'll see you on the far side. There is a nice bit of ice here Soap could have climbed over, but no, that's too safe for our Soap. And of course he has to save the day as well when the dick you're playing is nearly falls to his death at his first attempt at ice parkour. Not the only time Soap saves the day though, well in fact on most days he's saving the day, but he turns on the style too sometimes. Like when one baddie is nearly getting away and Soap comes crashing through a window and fucking spears the guy off of a building onto the roof of a car and doesn't even feel it. Also by the way, did I mention that Soap is just a sound bloke in general? Mind that gun Price gave you to kill that baldy one-armed guy? Well as soon as Soap finds Price in the future, he gives him his gun back. This belongs to you, sir. Who's Just shows you the character of the man. He's the type of guy you could loan a game to for a week. He'd complete it and then give you it back straight away with the disc still in perfect condition. No fingerprints or anything on it. The type of guy who borrows a tenor and gives you it back with interest. Skipping some details anyway, that wanker Shepard that was always telling you what to do in Modern Warfare 2 exposes himself as a wanker. As he betrays Soap when he shoots and sets his two pals on fire, which was a bit of a dick move on his part. There's no need for that. He also puts Soap on the most wanted list, probably for being the sexiest man alive. A wee bit later though Soap catches up with the wanker and is just about to stick a knife in his neck before he stops to think, I recognise this place. This is where all those 1v1 quickscope battles happen, isn't it? Unfortunately, the wanker doesn't really like trivia and uses Soap's inquisitive mind against him to implant a knife firmly into his chest and splash some jelly over his face. Which again, no need for that, ya wank. Just as you think Soap's about to bite the dust, his mucker Captain Price bursts onto the scene for a bit of a square goal with the wanker. In fact, this might actually be the first proper 1 vs 1 Rust they'd ever seen. The Price wasn't right though, and before you know it, he's getting his fucking arse kicked. Well, his face actually punched. And it's time for Soap to become one with the Force and use his slow motion powers again. This time ripping a knife out of his own chest and fucking launching it straight between that fucking wanker's eyes. Bingo! And then the credits roll. Unfortunately though, going into Modern Warfare 3, it's clear that Soap, our hero, is dying. Impossible as it may seem, Soap isn't actually indestructible. The Master Chief couldn't fucking handle half the shit Soaps had thrown at him, but the final nail in the coffin for Soap has been blown up and out of a five story building, debris landing on him and opening up his old knife wound. Actually that's multiple nails. And in his dying breath, he had one last thing to say to Captain Price. What a fucking dirty stinking grass. I never even liked that soap anyway with his fucking stupid <laughs> In conclusion, John Soap McTavish is a fucking legend. One like equals one respect for soap. Press subscribe to pay respects. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.